This clip is brought to you by Vivo Barefoot Shoes. Not only do these shoes look good, they perform even better. Enjoy this clip. I made a post today talking about shoes. I got some new uh, Ultra Kicks that I was running in yesterday. Oh, yeah? Felt really good. Um, <clears throat> there was a couple questions about the shoes and stuff like that, and uh, this can get to be confusing because I don't want to encourage people to just do a bunch of stuff barefoot. Mm. Uh, however, if you simply don't want any cost associated with uh, changing your footwear, then trying to figure out ways to be barefoot more often would be a good idea. Potentially in the gym and potentially um, in your backyard, your front yard, or whatever field you can have some access to. And I don't even know if you need to bother with running. Like you, you can you can run, you can run barefoot if you want to really try it. But if you haven't run, I would just uh, encourage you just to walk, just walk around barefoot for a bit outside uh, I usually do so in the morning. Sometimes I'll do so at night as well. Just go outside. Um, I live in like the country, so it's super beautiful out there. There's like all kinds of like animals and stuff out there. And um, it's just really nice, you know, seeing the sun uh, go down or the sun come up uh, kind of feels like refreshing and feels good to me. Uh, but what gets confusing about the shoes is like people are like, oh, have you ever tried like hokas? You ever tried these or, or these other types of shoes? And I think... Uh, there's tremendous value in some of those shoes. Uh, some of those shoes might be great for some folks, but I also think that if your feet, if your feet are kind of sensitive and you have any trouble moving any one of your toes, uh, and you feel like your feet are crammed in, or you have bunions, or you have uh, toes pointing in specific directions, or toes that are twisted, your feet look jammed up. There's an extra bone shooting out of somewhere. Like all kinds of crazy stuff happens to people's feet. Yeah. And when you go to the doctor, the doctors usually kind of just make you think it's kind of a genetic thing mm -hmm. or it's an uh, overuse injury. That's what they always sell you on. So oh, mm. it's an overuse injury. And actually, I think what I'm learning and what I'd like to share is it's probably like an underuse. Your, your foot has been like if we take the equivalent, if you just wore boxing gloves all the time, like anyone who's ever been in a pair of boxing mitts, it's like impossible even just to get a drink of water when you're, I mean, usually your coach squirts the water into your mouth because yeah. like you can't do shit. So imagine if you had boxing gloves on, you walked around with boxing gloves on, even just for like, let's just say you just did it for like three days. Mm -hmm. I would imagine your hands would be like, they would feel a little weird probably afterwards. And think about how often your foot is jammed into something that it really doesn't, it doesn't fit in too well. So I believe that our shoes... Uh, need to allow our feet to be feet. You should be able to splay your feet, which is just kind of like widen your feet out. You should be able to move your toes around in your shoes, and you should be able to have access to be able to move all your toes around. And if you don't currently, then I would suggest that you start to look into a shoe that's going to fit better. Um, and I would work your way towards like Vivo Barefoot for working out and for walking as much as you possibly can.